Thank you for watching this short video on how to make your custom operations platform work in your Ding Stinger app. When you go to the settings menu of your Ding Stinger app, you will notice in the bottom part of the screen there is a custom operations button. The custom operations section of the Ding Stinger app is used for individual businesses. This is part of our marketing package for the Ding Stinger when using it in conjunction with your accounts uh, that are doing that you do work for or that are using your uh, the, the Ding Stinger app to actually sell work for you. This is an amazing uh, part of this uh, app that works really good for for dent companies, uh, for anyone that does work doing any automotive uh, mobile repairs, any of those type of things. So as you can see, when you do go into your settings and you go to this custom operations menu, we basically have listed the majority of, of a ton of different types of services that can be used with this app. Basically what you can do uh, is go into these and you can eliminate as many of these that you would like to, keep as many of them as you'd like to. So let's say that you know that you don't do detailing, you would want to go in and you can just delete that. You can delete interior detail, full detail, anything having to do with that. But any uh, services that you do offer in your business, uh, you, you do touch up. There are a lot of dent companies do touch up. We do touch up at our location. So you would have your touch up preloaded. You have a place to put notes for that. You can do a price that is set for touch up so that you know on the fly if you're explaining to a customer that wants a paint chip fixed or a scratch fixed and you know that $45 is a price point that you like to have for your business, you can preset that. You also choose at the time that you choose it when you're doing the estimate to con consider that action or that item on your invoice if it's taxable or not. So there's lots of things that you can do with this. Um, it, you can change the labels, you can change the pricing, and it will tax it for you. So as an example, uh, let's say that we're going to choose touch up for a customer. It's going to put a $45 price on that. Or do we need to tax it? Yes, we do. Uh, let's tax that because we're selling them the paint. So once you have all of your uh, actions filled out here, you can name anything you want, put any price you want. If you do clear bra, if you do window tinting, if there's anything that you do for any shops that you do work for, this is a great section to show them if it's something that is useful to them. So once you have all of your options saved, they will be saved in your settings so that when you do go in to do an estimate, uh, this is one that we've already opened. Uh, this opened on the review screen, but when you go back, this is where all of your custom operations will be listed. So if you wanted to add headlight restoration, for example, to the estimate, you would choose that. It's going to pull up that screen. If your price that you set for a pair of standard headlights is $90, and it's something that you have to tax for on your labor where you live, then you can make it taxable or non-taxable. You can put any notes that you need in there uh, for uh, that particular customer. Um, and once you're done with that, you can choose anything else. Say you offer uh, full interior details or full detailing, and they would like the interior of their vehicle detailed, and you have that pricing already set, you choose interior detail, you have your price already set, um, depending on if there's tax on labor in your state, you can choose if it's tax exempt or not. Once it's done, it's gonna choose those two so that when you have chosen all of your custom operations that you are adding into uh, that repair, uh, we even have one company that sells their t-shirts, that has their t-shirts listed in their custom operation or 
any products that you have, detailing products, or some companies sell headlight restoration kits. So that's to give you an idea of the type of things that you can add into your custom operations menu. Um, a lot of uh, mobile repair people that we have talked to use this at their dealerships because they have they like to do menu pricing and they can add this to each individual uh, car that they need you know an estimate for. So once you continue on after adding your custom operations, you know they're going to show up in your review screen with all of your other estimating numbers. Um, it'll list it separately, and when you uh, make an estimate, it will be listed as its operation as you named it within the program. So it's always going to uh, print that out and if you chose it were to be taxed or not taxed, it is going to have that listed in the estimate. You also can create an invoice still and make uh, all the same adjustments that you need to. So the Dingstinger app is very customizable, programmable to fit your business and your business needs. So. Thank you for watching this short video on how to use your custom operations part of the platform of the Dingstinger app.